Hey guys, Ben here. So I'm just at London Euston, waiting for my train to Stoke. It's uh, it's away day time. It's Stoke versus Liverpool. It's Wednesday night. It's gonna be fucking freezing there, I know. Um, I'm excited. Uh, left work early, obviously, to get to this one. Um, it's currently half two in the afternoon. My train's about 15 minutes. Um, staying in a hotel on my own tonight. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do after the game. Probably just go back and, uh, and chill out, but it depends on the result, I suppose. Let's do it. So I've made it to Stoke, uh, I think we've got about two hours to kick off, it's quarter to six, so I'm going to make my way to the ground relatively shortly, I've got a few bits to sort first, but here I am, the Quality Hotel, my first ever visit to Stoke, um, honestly I had no idea what to expect from this place, but here I am, um, looking forward to the game, again, I, you know, as far as the lineup's concerned, it's pretty unpredictable, I think Salah might get a rest tonight, um, but yeah, I'm all set up, you know, it's a uh, little set up there. Single bed, unfortunately, you know, not made of money, it's nearly Christmas. Uh, you know, it's a wonderful place that is Stoke. It's right on my doorstep. Um, need to get some drinks down there, I think. There I was earlier in the hotel saying that all I needed was a drink. The only thing I've got is a drink and it's a hot chocolate because it's so cold and the uh, the queue in the pub was ludicrous, so I'm just sort of hanging around waiting for my ticket. An hour till kick off, Solanke starts for Liverpool. Uh, no Coutinho, no Salah. Um, Solanke, I, guess, I think it's his first little start in the league, so interesting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, give up already. I still think our team's strong enough to win this game. Let's go and do it. <laughs> Absolute beauty, Liverpool. Oh, what a night. That was well worth the trek up here on my own. Um, the freezing cold, blistering cold night of Stoke. My foot, my, my feet were completely and utterly numb. Uh, my phone died as I was trying to walk back to sort of somewhere near Stoke-on-Trent. Um, had to go into a pub and try and find myself a taxi home. Um, they couldn't help me, then I, luckily I just walk in along the road and uh, someone managed to help me and take me home for £10, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's now quarter to 11, got in just in time for match of the day. I can't wait to see Liverpool's goals again. I'm looking forward to seeing all the other games as well. I'm just watching Man City now, they got a lucky win. Um, you know, Raheem Sterling again scoring for them, but that's the least of my worries tonight. Liverpool have won again, uh, back to winning ways, 3-0 at Stoke. I mean, we rarely do we win there that convincingly. I think that's probably the most convincing win we've had there since I came to the Premier League. Um, was it convincing in terms of the performance? At times it was. Uh, the first sort of 20 minutes, I thought we were really... Uh, uh, well, the first 10, I thought it was a bit too slow. I mean, Emery Chan, uh, I have to say, I thought was absolutely terrible tonight. Uh, that might seem too harsh. Uh, I know some of you really like him, and I know, you know, people were calling for Henderson to be dropped, and you know, Emery Chan should start, and all, all that sort of stuff. I don't think Chan was any better than Henderson. Sorry, I'm just watching matches though. I don't think Chan was any better than Henderson. Um, he just refused to turn. He just refused to turn when he received the ball to his feet at the at the back in his own half with loads of space in front of him. He just didn't want to turn around and, and drive. He was just constantly going backwards. I'm not sure if this was an instruction uh, to sort of preserve energy. Uh, I've got no idea, but that was so frustrating. Vinaldum was a little bit guilty of it, although I thought... Um, he was actually probably okay, probably slightly better than Rochan. Um, but it was frustrating. But then we allowed Stoke into it after we scored for a little bit. Um, I think there was a mad few minutes. Minnelli comes out and wipes out Juve. Some of the Stoke fans were calling for a red card there or, or, or a penalty. I have not seen it back yet. So from where, I was, from where I was stood, which is right behind the goal, I was just wondering why he came for it in the first place. Matip you know, either had it under control or was at least going to put him off to the, to the extent to which it would have been a difficult finish. Um, but we rallied, we dug in, we had to face a lot of set pieces, there were some silly fouls, Moreno giveaways, a couple of stupid ones. Um, so we had to deal with them, which we did really well, which was, which was pleasing against the physical side, against Peter Crouch and, you know, Warren Shawcross and all the, all the grocks they've got. So that, that was uh, pleasing and then Salah comes on and 
I mean, his first goal was absolutely magnificent, and then the second one was just very clinical, and then it's just a nice, fun last uh, 10 minutes or so, uh, you know, singing loudly. Uh, the, away end was pretty, the away end was pretty good tonight. Uh, in terms of sort of performances, my man of the match was Joe Gomez. I thought he didn't put a foot wrong. I, I mean, he was just phenomenal. Matip was also very good. Uh, Lovren was fine, to be fair, although a little bit nervous at times, but I thought actually he was, he was good. Um, you know, in fairness, the whole defence was fine. Oxley chamberlain was very good, very bright, worked his ass off, um, deserved uh, deserved an assist from, from that cutback that no one somehow got a touch on um, in the second half. Mane, obviously brilliant. Firmino did okay. Solanke was very good. I thought he worked hard and didn't look out of place in that 11, you know, somewhere we rarely see him. But he, his touch was nice. He got involved, which I, I enjoyed. Um, who, who I missed out? Obviously, the subs. Milner comes on, but it was okay. Um, no Coutinho, so, you know, we've done well as a win without him and win 3 0 at that. Salah is, uh, you know, the best player in the league at the moment. Uh, 12 goals in the league already, 17 in total. Great, great night. Unbelievable night. Uh, I'm delighted. I really, really am. Um, Brighton away next. I'm not going to that one because I'm going to be in Germany. So that's, um, you know, un unfortunate, but looking forward to Germany nonetheless. And, uh, oh, just delighted. Subscribe if you're new, guys. Uh, we'll see plenty more of these to come. And uh, follow my other socials too. Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Leave a comment with your man of the match and your thoughts on the game. And if you were there, were you as cold as I was? Um, any, any, any other thoughts? And I actually met a few of you tonight. I think about three or three of you uh, came and spoke to me. So um, nice one for that. Make sure if you do see me at any of these games, you come and speak to me. It's always nice to meet you and have a chat. So um, yeah, see you guys soon.